Do you know what's important about today? We'll get to that in just a minute, but a couple of quick AI news updates for you. OpenAI's Codex, that is their coding agent that you can run in the terminal or the command prompt line of your PC or Mac, has actually just, uh, their researchers and their developers have stated that it is now mostly coded and improved using Codex. So they're actually using the tool that they created to update and modify that tool, which is pretty incredible. They also used it to develop and ship the Sora app for Android in just 18 days. If you haven't tried it yet, you definitely should. Uh, Electric automaker Rivian has revealed its in-house five nanometer processor, allowing it to do AI augmented autonomous driving. This is in direct retaliation to Tesla's full self-driving. This will be available sometime in Q1 of 2026. Uh, as an upgrade, uh, one time or monthly fee. And they're stating right now that it should be available on up to three and a half million miles of US roadways as far as eyes on hands-free driving. It's a really incredible uh, leap forward when it comes to that technology. Android users, I'm an iPhone guy myself, but you now have something that I'm a little bit jealous of. Android users have had the ability to do AI translations through Google's Pixel Buds, specifically those but Google just updated that to where that is now available through any type of Bluetooth headphones, and you can do real-time translation in over 70 languages that are all powered by Gemini, and it's actually really incredible. If you haven't seen some of the demos of that, you should definitely check those out, and if you are an Android user, let me know down in the comments if you've had a chance to use this yet. I'd love to hear some real-world experience. And last, today is special because In 1791, on this date, the Bill of Rights went into effect here in the United States, giving never-before-seen levels of freedom uh, for citizens of a country. And I'd like you to exercise those freedoms, including your freedom of speech, by commenting down below.